Welcome back, everyone, to the enacting revenge on the command for blocking us so many times this campaign with me, Dwarf Pete. Where in the last episode, we have pretty much prepared for this war. We need to enact revenge on him. We have the allies to do so. We have the money. We have the troops. And I'll admit, this is my second time doing this. Mostly because I didn't quite get the... Uh, effect that I wanted in the first recording, and I thought, you know what? We gotta do this justice. We need to just beat down the command. They've been a thorn in our sides for so long right now. So, what we're doing, we're training up a second uh, regular manpower army. We've got the money to invest into marks to help us defeat the command. And we are going to go from there, I think. Uh, they could use some extra... Goodness gracious, look at that! You're paying, like, two and a half times the maintenance for this company. Gross. Okay, so let's get into it. I will speed slow down to speed three because I need some concentration today. We might even wait for the next, uh, military tech. But I haven't quite decided on that one yet. And so that'll bring us up to a combat width of 27, which we will have just fine. And oh man, this is going to be a war for the ages. <laughs> In the first recording, I only managed to white piece him and get some more reps, which was... Deeply, deeply saddening for me. I want to just slap him down. Get rid of him. We'll go ahead and do this. Fan the flames. Mold the metal. We are raising an army. Make sure I'm paying as much attention as I can. And we will continue to build up forces. Not horses, though, to be specific. <laughs> we do not... Oh my... That is the sign. That is a sign. We need to get on with this war. <laughs> so we'll train up a second cannon stack. Heck, we'll even... What we got? Four in production? We'll even reinforce the first stack. And make it a full ten cannon so we can just blast down this fort. We have a duty to the world to make sure the command doesn't rise up again. We need to fulfill that duty. And ooh, I would go for the trade guy, but no, that's not not a good good one here. Okay, here come the cannons. I promise, we will go to war today. This is one of those episodes where I schlep off. Alright, and I think that stack's good to go. Got 27 and 10. That's a damn good general. Make sure he's got the best one we can. You've got another amazing general. Should be able to crack him wide open. If we can link up with our ally, then this gets a lot easier. We might just keep the mercs back for... Um, rebel busting purposes. I could have sworn I had a, a fort here on Hubao. Whatever. But I believe it is the time. The time for the command to pay for the transgressions. And we're only paying 40 ducats a month. Why is that? My goodness. 
it'll be good once the once the corruption finally dies down. And we will go once we have um, the Miltech available to us. Speaking of tech, I'm not really sure what to do for the next idea group. I was thinking economic, but to be honest, I don't really know. And if we're going to win a war with the command, well, we don't really need much more military. So, I was also looking. The religion, we get... I also took down the morale because we need the discipline. We need to trade effectively. We can't be losing the manpower here. Oh. But I was looking, and there's some interesting buffs we can get if all we need to do is get the Sitsu culture accepted. And the Sitsu culture, how conveniently, is in the path that we want to conquer to. And so everything looking right. We will declare for a very interesting one the Anti-Monstrous Conquest CP. Which, the stipulations of that one is that all we have to do is win battles. <laughs> Surprisingly difficult to do. We will come back from Kohai, move and throw in a spy network on the command, see if we can get anything fish biting. Come back from room O deck. And anything we can get here. Nothing particular. I don't care. Okay. Let's get this started. Command, you are going down. Even though you've got like 200 k troops in reserve can't tolerate you anymore. Let's get this started. They must pay. In either gold or blood, preferably. That is, This is the Dwarf Pete way. You must pay a, a, a Cobalt Guild. Similar to a Dane Guild. And I could focus mill, but... Yeah, we're still painfully behind in tech. Right. And... Good god. <laughs> Even with nearly 45% siege ability on our part, he still has so much. This is why we need to add him. Because his tyranny cannot go unpunished. And if you look to your to your left, ladies and gentlemen, you will see the horde of Not India descending upon the command. You also see some Jing Lu Si troops just getting wrecked. <laughs> Thankfully, though, it looks like we beat them in morale, but we just don't quite beat them in uh, discipline. So now, we can boost up a little bit, see if we can get one of these forts, with their 45% siege day techs, my goodness, that's frustrating. Uh, it looks like my subject's going to clean up my vassals, or my um, rebels, which is good. Definitely not losing steps. Speaking of which, we can even boost, try and get some prosperity. And any day now. Come on, man. Just, just, yes, yes. And now we will test. Excuse me, game. And now we will test. All right, I see how it is. We will go after you. Alright, they are just on fire today with being able to outmaneuver me, apparently. <laughs> so we'll set this Merc stack on that. 
Uh, one thing I need to remember, turn off horse taxes once that ends. And two, we need to make sure we are going to get this land good. And we will even uh, say we want said also land into this war. All right, awesome. There is that fort as well. So now we can push on Seer, it seems. And then all we have to do from here on out is just keep taking forts, and we should be good to go. Once we get uh, Seer, we should be more than safe. So we'll just keep pushing. So what we want out of this war is a ton of land. <laughs> Probably that would be respectable to begin with. And after that, that would get us the Sitsu provinces, some money, definitely not offering him tribute, and war reps. And that province, because why not? I'd love to put a fort there. And one difficult thing is that we can't really see what we're, uh, <laughs> what land give, is given to us. Okay, there's Seer. That basically makes it a full encirclement now. We won't have any problems getting to his troops. So in a little bit here, we will rally our troops. Any who wish to join us may. We will call in the mercenaries once more to the field of battle. And let's get ready. We are going to go in a knockout brawl. Okay, there's his big troops. How about we do a little sneaky and cut them off from behind? Yes, that looks good. That looks promising. It's just the Merc General, so we need not worry. Okay, there's 6k of Commandian troops. We're gonna go fight in the farmlands. That's good. Just cut them off. Cut them off. Make them regret ever annoying me. Awesome, there's another big battle one for our side. And I think we can just push straight to the capital. Okay, there's another two. Another one stack. Making some good little pushes here. That's a big army. It looks like his army is trying to go for... Uh, the Raj. But we are at 50%. That's good. Uh, nope, not gonna make that our cores. No need to, really. Uh, we are definitely hemorrhaging money, though, but thankfully we are finally done with corruption. Question is, how... Mm, is the money really... No, I suppose it's not. Not really a big issue. Us being out of manpower is a big issue, though. Either way, we are close to fully 100% sieging him. He still thinks he's... Still thinks he's winning. Or he has a chance of winning. Look at that, that's a 65k stack. A blob of allies. And 
And there we go, the commands, capital falls. Now we have the whole 70%. So we'll press our advantage. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Against the whole 1k troops. And the even the treasure fleet will come visit us to hear of our exploits. I'll do mopping up, see if we can clean this up. Hey, I'm a suck being behind enemy lines now, doesn't it? Alright, let's back him into a corner here. The old skeet troop. Skeet shot. Uh, inflation's not a problem. <laughs> okay, we'll see if we can overwhelm. That's gonna be a win for us. This might be a stack wipe. Oops. That's good, though. That is very good. Except the... Jiangzun culture, and we have 78%. He still doesn't want out, does he? It is typical peak AI right there. Alright, to convince him that he needs to die, we will keep beating up his armies. Keep the loans out. And excellent. He is on low enthusiasm. It won't be long now before he completely collapses. Still got plenty of troops, though. And we are certainly hemorrhaging money in order to bring him this pain. Definitely bringing plenty of troops on him. <laughs> awesome. There is another fort. I don't really see his armies. Uh, one thing is for certain, though. The Raj will topple real easily if you let him. So we'll go fight another battle. This should knock out a significant portion of his troops. Okay. Alright, and we just continuously reinforce the battle. Awesome. That is decidedly a victory in our case. And maybe he got stack wiped, it seems. Okay, 78%, still no. We'll keep hammer on. The command cannot exist in our 65k. Won a battle, but he's definitely on the lowest possible war exhaustion he can be. Let's see if we can siege back some ports. Yep. And we'll be in a pretty good position. Put our troops in position for Sarni Hapur. It looks like we finally got over his immense fort defense capabilities. Things are falling quick these days. But he 
He's trying to raise a new army. 84%. Yes. I think we that's that's it. We don't we don't attempt anything more. We've accomplished our objectives. The enemy is beaten today. Ooh. And there goes the command. That is the result I was looking for. Good bye, you pain in my back. So now we can return our troops. The victorious heroes that they are. And we can even get rid of these. Uh, we'll keep them around for a little bit longer. And uh, one thing we need to start working on is these loans. Man, are they bad. Okay, and let's also get everything cored up. And we can even begin. Begin to Imbuksu uh, mission. Which, following ancient sightings of a golden cloud moving northwest from Jin Q, it is time to pay the ogres a visit. As the search area for Balrus keeps getting more vast, the pay for searching attracts an increasingly strange assortment of people, with even bikelings and adventuring parties now joining in on the search. Whether they're as thorough as the military or the zealous volunteers is up for debate, but none of it seems to matter anyway, as every single mountaintop in the region is distinctly devoid of our colossal draconic icon. Unfortunately, we'll have to continue pushing further north, but in the meantime, the bikeling humans have proven themselves corrigible, and though it is still a work in progress, they are finding their place in our society, and as they do, new factions arise. The most prominent of such factions is a sort of bikeling union of industrialists, miners, and wealthy. They are organizing mostly in the far northeast in the gold-rich province of Gabi Ugarko, whose humans have long suffered under the ogre yoke. It is... It might be early to give them a seat on the council, and even an unprecedented event for a human to be on the Sage Council, but doing so would surely make the people more willing to embrace the light of Balrus. Plus, there's plenty of profit to be made with these men. And so now, the teeming Orm faction can be given a seat on the council. And even... Ooh, 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 whoa, 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 wait a minute now. You do what now? They give us production efficiency for the entire nation. <laughs> Local gold depletion chance modifier, yes. And they even <laughs> increase the loyalty equilibrium. And all we, by upgrading the gold, we upgrade them. Wow. Wow. Hello, I like money. Okay, and we can also get diplomatic reputation. We're establishing the Golden Tongue headquarters. <laughs> Promised myself I wouldn't laugh. I still do. And that we shall do. And we gain yet more claims on the command. Okay, and one thing I was wondering is, can I sell the institution, or have I already done so? Ooh, I can, yes. Jang Lucy, my boy, give me that four ducats. Okay, and one final thing we have to do is eliminate Bike to Gone. Oh, we're in a truce with them, never mind. <laughs> Whoops. And that sounds great. A general hospital to increase the manpower recovery speed. Sorry. We definitely need it. Balrus knows we need it. And one other thing we need to focus on is making sure our autonomy is in position. So we need every ducat we can get right now to stay out of debt. Awesome. 
And we can even take the next Diplo tech, which gives us the ability to start stealing tech. And we will do that in, oh, I don't know. Uvari sounds like a great idea. Whoever has the highest... Yeah. I think we'll go for Baihon Z. And we've even... Oh man, look at that. We've cut him in half. He was so hurt by the war that he had to release nations. Speaking of relation nations, these rebels definitely are trying to come up. And I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of the uh, the inflation prof. Not in our ring. It costs a whole 83 ducats to get rid of it. I just don't think we can generate the mana points fast enough. Okay, and we will use you to go kill Jian Sing. And we will get in position to. What do you want me to do? Who are we fighting? I mean, sure, I guess. He did. You just basically deliver me that war. I don't really want to help you, but. Oh, that's, that's nothing. You don't need me. We'll get started with Jian Sing, clean up another derp on our borders. There we go. Beautiful. And look at that. 50% inflation. We are making money. Thank all I have to say is, thank goodness, army maintenance is not modified by inflation. Actually, I lied. It is. Right? Uh, I'm kind of confused on this one. So, land maintenance itself is not modified by... Um, land maintenance itself is not modified by inflation, however the direct cost of the units is, like the starter cost or the maintenance cost. And we will quick kill basically everybody we can here. Get rid of you. Goodbye. Stop being a blight in my border. <laughs> and we can even get the next Miltech. To which that unlocks us the Inferno Fighters. The dissonance within the sages had been fully realized, with a schism taking place between the factions. The Inferno Fighters are the champions of the Smoldering Claw faction, using new firearms to relentlessly assault the enemy before viciously charging with fire and claw. And we'll just make sure you are dead. And can I steal anything from you before? Yes, I want fabrications on this land. Cool. All right, we got to make sure to give this to Land Gen B, who we're just gonna steal the trade from anyways, so doesn't matter. And we'll make sure to steal as much money as we can. Awesome, there we go. 
And by any chance, can I attack Beyond Fang? Oh, I could. I should. But first I'll make sure these are dealt with. And we will go clean up you. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, there is Kung Udek's capital. Finally is in my hands, as it should be. We can even pay back a loan or two. Keep trying to balance the budget. <laughs> it ain't happening. Take uh, a whole ten ducats from you, Ringo Duck. And yet more separatists that we need to keep bashing. Bash them into the ground. Get rid of them. As I was saying, get rid of them. <laughs> okay, we'll use the mercs for you. You guys can go after... Who exactly am I fighting? Ziyun and some nobody. Okay. I think, though, that is an excellent stopping point for today. Look at these borders. They are only going to get better. We finally, finally, beaten you up, taking your lunch money, and somehow, did you, did you actually get the Renaissance? Who gave you the Renaissance? Who gave you the Renaissance? Now that's not cool. You're not supposed to take tech. Only I can take tech. But soon, all of the Ogre Hills shall belong to Balrish, and we shall find out the whereabouts of Balrish himself. For that, you'll just have to stay tuned for next time. As always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.